Welcome to another Let's Play Arcade Games video, and today we're going to be playing Athena by SNK. This one came out around, what, 1986 I think? It will say on the title of screen in a moment, let's put in some coins. Now, this game, I never played it back in the day, in the arcade, but I am aware of the uh, Commodore 64 version of this, when that came out. I never played that either, but uh, I do remember it, especially for the artwork, which I enjoyed a lot as a kid. Anyway, so here we go. The game starts with you falling down a hole and losing all of your clothes, and then you're in this forest, and then you die straight away. So let's try again. There you go. So here's Athena. You pick up different weapons and die straight away. So, first thing you notice is that it's pretty unforgiving. Even though you've got a life meter, it doesn't really feel like you do because. Alright, so you can jump, you can attack, pick up different weapons. I'll stick with the club for now. These flying boots. See, they allow you to do shit like that. So, yeah, your various pickups, various enemies, which are very quick to just gang up on you before you have a chance to react, but there you go. So yeah, it's uh, this is a thinner. Not really much more to say about that ring. Oh. Dead already. Right, um, I'm going to turn up the volume a bit because that's a bit quiet. Um, let's try that again. Yeah, so I'm not sure what those um, meters down the right hand side of the screen are for actually. Dead just because I touched an enemy's head with my foot. Yeah. It really doesn't take much in this game. And when you die, you go all the way back to the starting stage. And you, picking up weapons isn't as easy as you think it is. You can't just simply walk over it. You have to go over and press the button and then... It's a bit fiddly because it won't always pick it up straight away. And in that time, the enemies will kick the shit out of you. And then you're dead. And you, you only have two lives, you only take two hits and... and yeah. Yes, there's a very good reason why you don't really hear about this game. Alright, let's see if I can make, get a bit, be a bit more aggressive now. It's a shame because it's got potential. It could actually be pretty good if it was, uh, <coughs> wasn't so fiddly. 
Right. And that is how that hammer of hers is a bit bent, if you look at it. The angle of that is a bit off. Anyway, that's a minor point. It's the least of this game's problems. Um, let's down here. So you've got multiple routes through the level. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, so you're nearly dead already just from that one here. The enemies just <clears throat> pile into you like that. I do wonder if there's a way of like upgrading your weapons or something, if that's what the uh, meat is down this right hand side of for. But it's not clear. And like how the game over message comes up before you actually die as well. Right, yeah, so that's a thinner. Um, it's a bit shit to be honest. <laughs> I don't really like it very much. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It has potential, but it's just. Don't think that was very well made. As I said earlier, very good reason why you don't hear about this game. Right, it's not talked about very much. And uh, the home conversions weren't anything to really shout about either. That all accounts. Best thing about this game was the uh, was the cover art for the uh, UK home conversion ports. Really. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I will see you next video.